help me with something? Sure. I'm trying to print a file, but the printer won't work. Push the green button on the printer. Why? To turn it on. It won't print unless it's on. <laughs> oh, right. Silly me. Thank you. Hey, Bob. My laptop crashed, and I can't get it to do anything. I, I type on the keyboard, and nothing happens. Stick this here. Why? To restart the computer. You sure? Okay, thanks. Bob, I could use a hand with something. What is it? Somebody sent me an email, but I think it has a virus in it. Don't open the attachment. Click on the no virus icon on the toolbar. Why? To clean the computer and stop the virus. Thanks. <laughs> Bob, can I ask you another question? I'm sorry, but I can't get any work done with all these questions. Please, I have some very important stuff I need to finish right now. Game over. Game over. Very important stuff. Game over. Game over. How can I help you? Hey, Mr. Evans? Yes? You asked me to build a website for the company? Oh, yes. How's it coming along? Well, sir, I, I think I need some new technology. What do you need? A new scanner. What's that? It's a scanner, sir, but it's not nearly as good as this one. This one would give us much better photos. Okay. And a digital camera would be good. What's that? It's not a digital camera, sir. It won't take pictures as easily as this one. Okay. And also, a new laptop. <laughs> it's not as fast as this one. I see. Anything else? A new DVD drive. And I could also use a new joystick. A joystick? Isn't that for computer games? Well, I don't really need the joystick. What's all this going to cost me? What? Well, actually, we could do without the DVD drive. <laughs> and the laptop. And the camera. And the scanner. Great. <laughs> Do you have a favorite genre of movie? I love drama. I love comedy, but my, my favorite is drama. Do you think there's too much violence in movies? I think sometimes some films portray violence a little too graphically, but I feel that um, if it helps the plot along um, and there's sort of a point to the violence, then it's okay, but unnecessary violence really turns me off. So do you choose to go see movies if you know they're going to be violent? I usually tend to see films that get good reviews or are by uh, filmmakers whom I admire. I don't think violence would really, you know, sway me one way or the other. Do you ever go to see violent movies yourself? Yes, I've seen violent movies, um, thrillers and, and movies of that nature. Can violent movies be dangerous? I think people are dangerous. I don't know that movies are dangerous. Should children be allowed to see violent movies? No, I don't think children need to be watching violent movies, so... What's your feeling about violence? Is it harmful, particularly to children? Um, it, it, I think violence is um, harmful, um, especially in movies. movies. Children of certain ages should not see uh, violent movies because they're a little more influential and um, don't have the uh, judgment skills that adults do.
Could you tell me um, some of the things that are important to you in a hotel, such as um, a fitness center or a pool, a gift shop, a restaurant, a business center? I look more for location in a hotel than anything else. Anything else. So I want it to be close and convenient to whatever I'm doing in town. If I'm there to enjoy myself, uh, for example, then I want to be near the beach. Uh, so um, location is more important to me than anything else. I, I don't pay too much attention to the she hotel. She likes uh, one bed. <laughs> she doesn't like twin beds. Uh, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of hotels. If, they ha if they're comfortable, I'm happy with it. When you stay in a hotel, do you use room service? No, I try not to use room service because I like to get out and see a little bit of the town or the city that I'm staying in. Thinking about a really good hotel experience, could you tell me about that? Really what makes a hotel special is the, are the people who work there. If people there are very nice and friendly and people say good morning and know you by name and they, they, when you come back to the hotel they greet you and they ask you how your day was and they just make the difference. If, if when I stayed in a hotel I had, um, I had a bellman bring me flowers that were left over and put them in my room. And those are those little touches that I think make your experience or you stay in a hotel much more pleasant than when you just stay anywhere else. How about a worst hotel experience? Well, um, I have had experiences more, on more than one occasion where I've been in a room next to people that are rather noisy. And so that can be, that can be a distraction, especially when you've got to be up early in the morning. Who are you most like in terms of personality? My mother. And why do you say that? Outgoing. She smiles a lot. Do you have any brothers or sisters? One brother, two, three sisters. Okay, and then how are you different? Is, say, one more extroverted than the other or more introverted? Oh, uh, well, I'm quiet, calm. I don't really get excited over things and just take it easy. I don't let things bother me a lot. While my sisters, they will get excited and get upset, and uh, so I'm not like that. Okay, how about first children? Do you think that they have certain traits that they share? Well, I think my brother, being the oldest and the only boy, was allowed to get away with things a lot more than my sister and I. And what I mean by that is, um, as the oldest and as a boy, he was able to go to concerts at an earlier age than my sister or I. Um, he kind of got out of household duties uh, that my sister and I had because he was babysitting us. And how about if you're the last in a big family? Do you think that uh, you get special benefits from that? <laughs> yeah, you get close. What about birth order? Do you think that makes a difference who's the oldest and who's the youngest? Um, I don't think so. Not important? I don't think it's important. It's just the personality. If you got a bill in a restaurant that was obviously wrong, what would you do? I would tell the waitress and ask her if everything's okay. I think they should tell the waiter. And what should they tell them? Um, that um, they are given too much change or they are undercharged. How about if a person is shopping in a department store and uh, an expensive piece of clothing has a tag on it that's obviously wrong, it's priced too low, uh, would that, should that person tell the cashier or just pay for it? I usually ask. That's me though. <laughs> Well, I, I would go to the cashier, or I think everybody should go to the cashier at least and ask, is that right? And if he says it's right, then at least you tried it. And then suppose you found some cash on the street, not in a wallet, just some cash lying on the street. What would you do with it? i pick it up and put it in my pocket. <laughs> I usually do not pick up money if a very poor person is around, because I think a poor person needs it more than I do. So I'd leave it lying there. So are the three situations the restaurant, the department store, and the cash on the street the same or different? I think each one is different. Why? Um, you make judgments all the time and not everything is equal. Might have been two weeks ago, but I'm not sure. Has it 
been a month or a year I have a funny feeling that I've met you twice That's what they call deja vu You were saying something friendly trying to be nice And now you're being friendly too
has it been? It's always better late than never.
So alone. 